All right, now like Devin's <laughs> Yeah, we all put we all put it together for Devin. Everybody needs to show love to Devin, of course. And, and for real, for real, like it, it's for me, it's just like the, the the way to make sure that keep my sanity in check, and I get to enjoy what we all still love to do, Wi-Fi or not. We still get to enjoy these brackets, including this one that's currently in winners finals. Yeah, we got uh, Tilde and Josh in there. Uh, Tilde, Tilde uh, is a guy who definitely prides himself in these combo strings. Oh yeah, and finishing is cool. Yeah, definitely. Like for real, for real, both of these both of these players eat each other up because Rob gets comboed to hell, has a hard time landing against you know Falco if the if everything gets started. But on that same token, Rob eats that recovery and really just takes care of the spaces off stage. Kind of like right now, where are you going? Yeah, and that was really unfortunate because Tilde definitely tried to delay his recovery a little bit, and it didn't matter because that lingering hitbox with Rob side mm -hmm. was just monster. Exactly. Like, even with like the good range on the jumps from Falco, you can still follow that pretty easy. It's just, do you force them into the up B or do you force them to the side B? You have to respect it all the time because you got Gyro coming at you. You got lasers that can force you to go the way that Josh wants them to go. Uh, so it's rough. But even so, with this like situations like this, Tilde's pressure game is just so good when he gets in, like we're seeing right now. Yeah, you know, and I was asking earlier about that aerial side B from Falco because I didn't, really didn't understand it. And apparently, uh, he can act out of the aerial side B fashion than he does yes. the, side B, the grounded side B, even though the grounded side B is faster on the ground. Yep, so, correct. Yeah, it, it doesn't have the same startup on it. It's it's a quick, it's a little bit faster. Good option, all right? They're going for the up smash, especially being like right up next to him, having confidence to go for that situation because he could have gotten punished pretty hard by Josh. Yeah, and oh, oh man, this is bad. Okay. Because as soon as Tilde hits that Nair, uh, not very good. And this, these are all real frame pass, by the way. Exactly. Like, look look at all that that just <laughs> happened. Like, you, you air dodge past the first one. Cool. I'm going to follow you anyways. That Honestly, I respect the up smash out of Josh because Tilde was jumping all over him. I like that tomahawk right there. And it's going to end oh, up eating to the KO. Just Jesus, stand. Sir. It's like, oh, my God. Sir, uh... See, and that's why, you know what? I feel like when you have Falco like that on the top platform, you should just retreat. Like, there's no point. <laughs> yep, you yep. Can only just lose. go. Just go. Hold down, do whatever you got to do. Just get out of there as long as it's not near the Falco. Yeah, but right now we have an even game. After Jonathan's uh, quick start, Tilde has definitely brought it back mm -hmm. quite significantly. And, uh, yeah, and that so reflector, look. man, that reflector from Falco is going to be pretty important as this set. Um, just longer. Yeah, like just using that sparingly, like not overdoing it because eventually the, uh, the you know, Rob's just gonna stare you down, wait for you to do something, commit to it, and then get a free grab. Which around this range, like right now, oh, he decided to fully commit to the extra jab. I think the side yeah. B would have done it, but <laughs> it's just a little bit later. The side B's gonna take it out. Yeah, so there, there are a bunch of flubs right, right there on both ends. Um, till they definitely just dropped, dropped a combo on the edge of the stage. Mm -hmm. Um, and Jonathan flubbed like a couple times like this. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right there. Like you have you have the coverage already set up because you got Gyro behind you. So you already you're assuming one of two things. One, they're rolling forward. Two, they're gonna get up attack. Like most of the time, they're not gonna just stay right there. Uh, mm -hmm. And they, if they bounce back left, they get caught by whatever you did anyways. But still, good job by Jonathan, like not letting that get out of hand because like a lot of times people, especially on last stock. They get too reckless after they lose a kill option, and it just makes them play really dumb, and it just opens up their defense. Yeah, they, they just start swinging. Like, yeah. uh, they just start swinging and uh, pressing the A button a lot. But Yeah, you got to <laughs> chill with that. <laughs> For real, uh, like, every, like, there's so many times where everybody's just, like, try to push that initiative again to get back in. You set yourself up for failure against somebody like Tilde, who's way, like, who wants you to approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Falco as a character struggles to get in, it, get in it at times. I know. Mm -hmm. You know when you're doing stuff like that, you're playing right into his hand. So, yeah. yeah but, as, but that makes everyone back in the town. Yeah, I, I like the baits that Justin puts out. Like it, it, it's whenever you see Robs, they all play so different. Is it just the way that they go about it? Justin definitely being on more of the aggro side of Rob. Uh, yeah, like you just see the, the way he's navigating around that set of platform, just trying to force Tilde to come in because you know Tilde wants to get in and get that combo. But even so, even at the percent deficit right now, you still can't get comfy in Tilde's position because you're also at kill percent at this moment. Yeah, and you see Josh then actually covering that uh, high recovery. 
And um, because that's definitely an escape option that Toby would probably do, like mm -hmm. like right there, trying to go over Rob, and he just brought it back anyway. Oh, I like that. That honestly, Hello. that was that, that was good. That that was like I, I'm I'm pinpointing where you are to force you to where I want you to go. Because after that first one, if you jump in too early at the bottom, it's like all right, I'm I'm dead. And then the option coverage jump in there as well. Most of the time, you assume that that Valko is just following you all the way down to the blast zone. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, no, totally, definitely just hunted him down. Like he did not care. No, and and I like that. I like that mash option. So many times that we've been seeing people get down aired and bounce off the ground like that. We could actually bounce off the ground and press a button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for like one of the things I always find fun in uh, watching any Falco player play is how good is the opponent and knowing what's not real. Because a lot of Falco's damage comes off of situations that just aren't real besides the frame traps. Because you get so scared, you're willing to jump and you're willing to match because you think that they can follow you and they just can't until they capitalize on that so well, except for that situation right there as well as talk about at the beginning of this whole set, that up B just gets eaten by Rob if you're put in a bad spot. Yeah, that, that was, oh no. Yeah, and, and, that, and that was pretty bad because, um, and this really wasn't anything I totally could have done about that situation. Mm -hmm. like, yep, yeah, all right. Uh, uh, Semi-complaint mode. Why is Rob allowed to have that down tilt? I know we're very far into this game, but why? <laughs> like, why, why? Why does Rob have the zoning tools, the ki the kill, like the, the mix-ups with the throws, and also the boxing game? Like, <laughs> why is Rob allowed to have all these things? Because, like I was, like I was saying earlier, he's a big robot man with a big robot body. So, like. He, since he has bad advantage, that'll give him something, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that, that's, I, give, give, a, let me get that down to it. That's all I'm saying. But uh, I'm saying to rationalize it. <laughs> I'm not Look, saying it's right. Hey, we try, we try to rationalize when there's somebody who approved Crime F tilt at the beginning of this game. So that, that there's that. But <laughs> and, and there, there are many war crimes that are being done right now on the street. So. True. Speaking of which, speaking of things that are interestingly approved, the frame trap makes up here. Getting just the single heat off of the shooter. Where is your jump? Where are you going? Until they waited. Until they waited for that follow-up landing, too. Like, this guy. That was 114 percent unanswered. I love it. Play the credits. But, oh, that, that was perfect. I, I like the weight on using that reflector on the recovery. Uh, because the amount of times that you've seen Josh then just stare. Oh, yeah, get out of there. He's looking yeah. for the jumps. Yeah. Yes, you just need to leave. I'm surprised the second up smash didn't scoop him up, to be honest. Um, yeah, like, enough. yeah, it's one of those moves that just has like a really wide range uh, hitbox. And the fact that Tilde jumped and didn't get hit. Oh, speaking of jumping and getting hit, Tilde calling the jump from ledge. Uh, one of, you know, obviously one of the, the main things that Rob's love to do. Uh, it's just hanging out on the side of the ledge with that up B, uh, or rising with fair and such from the ledge or gyro. And he had gyro in hand, so he pretty much had one of a few options, either rise and fair, which you saw the animation was right there. You saw the fair being put out. Yeah. Gotta yeah, appreciate and, Devin and for the slow frame of him. Look at this. There's a startup. <laughs> you ain't getting it, though. Yeah, like, it was one of those situations where most of the time Rob's either come off the ledge with a gyro throw or a mm -hmm. forward air and he already had gyro in hand and said i dare to do something mm -hmm. stupid and he got up smashed you know what drives me nuts whenever i see oh that God. oh actually no it doesn't drive me nuts nick c coming through oh with 65 God. viewer no. hosts appreciate you uh speaking okay. of people who know how to we, 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 no 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 we don't we don't appreciate nick around here nah, okay i, I, I want nah, i do i do exclamation point falcon in chat right now we don't appreciate nick he should um. be banned <laughs> war crime war crime <laughs> Hey, look, I'm not, I'm not in Xeno every week to actually experience it, so I get to enjoy it from the fun perspective, from the seat at home while I'm watching. So, so I appreciate Nick. If I was there every week, it might have a different story. But also, for some, like I, I know it's easy to say in hindsight, but the amount of times that you'll see characters who regularly jump from ledge with like aerials, right? While there's a move that you straight up can just stop by using invincibility on on, on get up attack, <laughs> just 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 you don't need to do the down part. Just press the big green button, and all your problems will be solved in that situation. <laughs> Game number two. I'm surprised FD was left open. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really sure what character would benefit more from this stage. Um, um I mean, I, like, I'm guessing Rob. It, it, it's on paper it's Rob and I, I think Tilde's playstyle lets him like 
deal with the fact that, you know, he's got to navigate through all these projectiles, but he's really good at zone breaking in general, so I guess he's okay with it as a comfort pick. But still, it's kind of like when uh, earlier I saw Mega bring Rob here and I lost my mind. Or actually, what, no, they might have against might have against Min Min. But like, you don't you don't go to a stage like this to freely set things up unless you're really really good at approaching, because your options are so much more linear when you have Rob who could just put projectiles out and consistently control you, which we're not seeing right now. And I think that's yeah. a big testament to just Tilde's up like just zone breaking game. Yeah, and. Tilde has been calling out almost every single jump with the down there already, and it's bugging me out because all I keep seeing is Rob is getting sent into the gulag every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the gulag. Oh it's got up smash into oblivion. Yeah, just delete that stock. Honestly, like the, it, that's one of the things that uh, has been so good. But also speaking of things that are so good, it does not matter uh, if you're able to air dodge out past that. Uh, Falco's gonna be able to follow you. Also appreciate the follow, Whole Milk. Thank you very much. We're getting close to 100 viewers for the night, too. It's the last one of the year, and we're not over 100? Y'all bugging. Somebody tweet this out, share the stream. Oh, we, oh, we broke it? All right, never mind. My Twitch is bad, and I'm just, I'm stupid. But anyways, here, here in game number three, um, like, what, what, what's what's one of the things that you think in terms of the way this matchup goes and like how Josh then actually needs to change it up because on paper we said at the start this is definitely a Rob favor but why but why is he constantly getting mixed right now and how how can he slow down the gameplay from Tilde? I mean honestly I feel like he's 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 engaging a lot with Falco and uh, Falco is a character like if you engage a lot with him you're gonna probably lose a lot of these exchanges especially mm -hmm. at close. And I feel like if Josh did like just held back a little bit, played a little bit more of the range game, that um probably a lot easier on on his life. Because yeah. like even though Josh is playing is kind of aggressive, like kind of double double edged sword right now. Yeah, I agree. Because like yes, you need to get your grabs. Yes, you need to do this. But also, even though it doesn't seem to fit Josh's playstyle, and everybody usually gets mad at me when I say this stuff. You, you just gotta slow the game down. You have to step back, go to the other side, slow and like just be almost lame and patient because you need to throw off the pace that Tilde has right now. Because if you just keep approaching and you de then you decide to do stuff like that, that's when that that, uh, that reflector becomes online, and that's when Tilde's gonna be able to bait so much easier because you decided that you consistently wanted to go in. Oh, wow. there you go, though. <laughs> what? You always got that. You, you, you got the Beyblade to win. Uh, that, that recovery is just it's just so hard to do it against Rob. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And it's almost like, it. honestly, like you were saying earlier, it, every time it seems like, like Jocelyn just wants to interact with him up close or do something a little bit sneaky, it's just like it's not worth it. Mm-hmm. It just, it just ends up being not worth it at all. It's just like, what, he tried to go for a back out of shield? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like, you, you, when, you get it, when you get in these spots, especially on what, you know, you would assume would work for you in terms of stage pick, and then you're getting pressured to hell, it's just because the other person has figured out, like, how to crack the defense. And the only way really to stop that is you have to reset Nooch over and over and just mm -hmm. play slow because yeah. if you keep going in and you play against a character who's a combo heavy character not necessarily like pure brawler archetype you know falco can zone too but you just give up so much uh and, and i think if we see a slower stage I'll, uh, unless we see a stage switch uh if we run it back to fd i'd like to see some slower gameplay out of josh because otherwise till running away with this game yeah and you know one thing one thing i would like to note is just when we first start talking about like stage choices right like on paper probably does benefit Rob a little bit more, but then we also need to talk about playstyles. Yeah. Now playstyle wise, right? Like if you're talking about aggressive versus aggressive on a fly stage like that, I feel like something like that would definitely be in favor of Tilde. <laughs> mm. So Yeah, I think um amongst where I would probably bring this matchup if available, this is definitely one of them. Uh, because the, you now, now you have now you have control platforms. You have different landing options. You still have the wide stage. And yes, yes, Fal Falco uh, does have the combo game. But it's the it, it's the rule of seventy against uh, like players like this. You always have to accept that that zero to seventy. I mean, this one hundred percent. I don't know about that. But that zero to <laughs> that zero to sixty, zero to seventy is always going to happen when you play big characters. How do you handle yeah. it after that? 
Yeah, so it's like everybody has a plan, and then they get hit, and it's just like, well, <laughs> sometimes you <laughs> really want to get hit. <laughs> you like it sometimes. Is it worth That's it? the eternal <laughs> advice, man. Like, it really is. <laughs> everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face or kicked in the face like that. And it's just, like... The, the, just the way that Tilde has been playing, it really just understands how to get in. Uh, and it has now been just shutting down a lot of the zoning attempts from Jocelyn. This is looking rough. Yeah, and Tilde is definitely a... Uh, he's also a player who knows when to not overextend, right? And that's another thing. Like, even though you do play combo heavy characters, sometimes you have to play risk reward in some of these risks that you're taking. And Tilde's not really making the crazy risk that might put the stock in danger, and then I just... Except, except for that, but you know what? <laughs> but you know what? I, 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 sometimes it's okay, like it's okay to do that because you're you're up two you're two two games to one. You're up a stock. They're at a hundred percent. So why not, right? Like it's okay. Like you don't want to give up stage position to, uh, position too much. That's my least favorite thing to see out of people is when they give up stage position without a game plan. But Tilde, it, it hasn't mattered because you seem like all right. It messed up last time. I still got the lead. And, and something to note is that, like, Rob as a character doesn't have, like, the best out of shield options, mm -hmm. especially when getting hit by oh my the back god. of the shield. Oh my god. Right? Like, if you're hitting, because the fast out of shield options what, like, forward air? So. <laughs> Devin, Devin, no. Devin, play the movie credits. Play, 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 just, just play the credits real quick. Uh, get the post, get the post game scene showing up right now where we see Dale uh, crying for Rob. Uh, I'm gonna get a shot. <laughs> Might go get a shot. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what Yo, what, 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 what was that? Yo, I feel like I feel like Jackson put his controller down and was starting to watch the movie. He started to watch the movie himself. What happened? I love Devin, man. Well, he just started, bro, he was, started to watch the movie himself. I was not I was not ready for that. For real, for real, I was not ready for that. Yeah. Honestly, and you can see you can see it in Jackson's head too in that situation, like jokes aside. Like he pulled out of the game at that point. It's like, look, far behind, uh, and like I'm, I'm just getting cooked. Like I can't figure this out, and that's okay. Like everybody gets mixed up and it happens. But how do you think about that? Fix that and get ready for when you get back into grand finals. Because till day, that was all till day show. Bro, what was he thinking about? I'm confused. I mean, like, I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, we we can think some hypothetical stuff in his I'm head. Sorry, all he's I'm just saying is rock, just pop the bullshit. That's all he's saying in his head right now. No, but, that, was, that was definitely a no mix up, mix up, right? Like I, I understand yeah. like what's happening there. Like I get it, right? But that optically, what that did not look good. <laughs> <laughs>